let's discuss today planes they are very flat surface and about 55 percent of earth's land surface is covered with planes they are also called as grasslands in some areas for example prairie in north america pampas in south america there are three types of planes structural planes depositional planes and erosional planes let's see how structural planes are formed this is the sea floor and it is also a condition before earthquake after the earthquake if a large portion of sea floor if it moves upward suppose it has reached here obviously this land masses will also move upwards then this newly formed plane or area is called as structural planes the next is depositional planes and they are formed by deposition of sediments by river glacier lake and even wind alluvial planes are formed by the river deposit it is during flood the river carries sediments and deposit them in the flooded areas thereby forming alluvial plain example is indo-gangetic plains in this green colored areas flood occurs every year because of presence of various rivers like Brahmaputra, Ganga and its tributaries like Yamuna and thereby making the area very fertile for cultivation. Therefore, plains are also called as food baskets of the world because in these regions a large amount of crops are grown. In these green colored areas, flood occurs every year because of presence of various rivers like Brahmaputra, Ganga and its tributaries like Yamuna and thereby making the area very fertile for cultivation. Therefore, plains are also called as food baskets of the world because in these regions a large amount of crops are grown. When the plain formed by glacier or ice they are called as glacier plain the plains formed by the sediments carried by wind is called lower plains this is a picture of northern china where lower plains has formed because of the wind deposits in this picture you can see that there is a lake and if after a few years the sediments from the nearby mountains if they get accumulated or if they falls into the lake and also because of evaporation of the lake water then after a few years there will be a plain in this area and a plain formed in this way is called as lacustrine plains the last one is erosional plains. They are formed when there is continuous erosion for a long period of time. This is a feature formed by erosion of river. On the right hand side you can see that there are high areas and on the left hand side it has resulted into the formation of plains or grasslands. This means that the river is continuously eroding the areas whatever in the right hand side and erosional plains is forming on the other side. Whatever surface will be left behind after erosion it is called as pinny plain means almost flat surface. Importance of plains. The plains have very fertile soil therefore they are very good for cultivation 
and in those areas a large industries are found mainly agriculture based or agro based industries and we know that industries needs a large number of workers therefore in those areas towns and cities have developed